Good morning, everyone. And Bob, thank you very much for that kind introduction and for your leadership at the National Drowning Prevention Alliance. Uh, the CPSC has long considered the NDPA to be one of the premier water safety organizations in the country. Uh, the gatherings of the attendees at this symposium affirm the respect that we have for the NDPA and its mission. You and the members of the NDPA are today's leaders in preventing child drownings, and you need to take credit for that. You are the innovators and the experts in creating effective layers of protection. You're the educators and the public health officials who cha affect changes in pool codes and parental behaviors. It is for these reasons that I'm so pleased to be here with you today. Uh, I am joined by a number of people from the CPSC staff, including Pool Safely Campaign Director and Leader uh, Kathleen Riley and Founding Board Member Marsha Carr, uh, Kerr, along with our friends from Widmire Communications, and of course Scott um, Wolfson, who is our Director of Public Information. We are all here today for a simple but a powerful reason, to, uh, to save the lives of children across the country. We all know that drowning is a leading but a preventable cause of death and injury among children younger than five. One year ago, the CPSC first introduced its pool safety brand at this symposium in Philadelphia, in Pittsburgh. Since that time, we have fully developed and launched the pool safety campaign, and we are thrilled that NDPA and its members have embraced it. And we thank you for your collaboration and your partnership. Today, as we near the 2011 swim season, our message remains the same. Simple steps save lives. Whatever system you, you use to spread the word, the message is clear. Simple <laughs> steps mean taking action to create a positive change. This includes a positive change in behavior, knowledge, and equipment. Changes that ultimately inten are intended to make families and uh, neighborhoods safer around pools and spas. Pool Safely has enjoyed many successes since it was formally announced and launched just, uh, memori uh, just before Memorial Day 2010. Some highlights include a successful launch in Fort Lauderdale with Congressman Debbie Wasserman Schultz, Pool Safely advocate Nancy Baker, and Olympians <clears throat> Janet Evans and, La and Jason Lezak. The debut of the Pool Safely public service announcement on the Today Show. The Pool Safety, Safely Day of Events in 28 locations across the nation, including one in St. Paul, Minnesota with Senator Amy Klobuchar, St. Paul Mayor uh, Chris Coleman, Katie Taylor, President and Co-Founder of Abby's Hope Charitable Foundation, and Rick Root, the President of the World Water Park Association. Pres uh, Representative Wasserman Schultz and Senator Klobuchar led the way in Congress to secure passage of the Virginia Graham Baker Pool and Spa Safety Act. Their commitment to pool safety, uh, safety remains very strong today. The campaign generated more than 40 million impressions through our PSAs, interviews, billboards, rapid response program, and informational and educational materials. The Pool Safe Leaks PSAs aired on 645 local te television and radio stations nationwide and appeared in industry trade magazines throughout the United States. Five metropolitan subway, uh, subway stations, including Washington, D.C.'s uh, metro system, displayed the campaign's message prominently on 112 billboard and inside 17 malls throughout major cities, uh, urban cities. The PSCs in our eight-part educational video are available on YouTube and the NPD, uh, NDPA website. I encourage all of you to check them out, at, check out these materials and share them with the friends in your communities. I'm very pleased to share with you that the Pool Safety Campaign has so far earned five major awards. Moreover, we were a finalist in the prestigious PR Week Awards. The campaign's many successes and the awards we have won would not have been possible without the support so far of many of you in this room. It is because of the efforts of our partners that families are learning at the grassroots level to pool safely. We developed the national PSAs with the American Red Cross and the YMCA. In partnership with the NDPA and the Safe Kids USA, we produced the educational video and online activity. We hosted a webinar for first responders and water safety advocates in the Home Safety Council, and we carried out industry outreach with the APSP. Our partners have taken the lead in using and disseminating our handouts and ads to their members, and we encourage all of you to do so today. 
These are free materials produced by the government, so they are in the public domain for you to use. Today we have 13 Campaign Safety Partners. These are Pool Safely's premier national public safety partners. In addition, we have 37 Campaign Safety Leaders, including state and regional water and public safety organizations. The Campaign Safety Leaders work to inform parents and caregivers and pool and spa owners about drowning and drain pre entrapment prevention and about creating a safer pool and spa environment. We also have a campaign safety community, which is a limitless group of people, more than 500 individuals and organizations committed to preventing drownings in their own local communities. Our goal in 2011 is to realize the full potential of our collective efforts and create a positive change nationwide, a, effect that re a change that results in fewer drownings, non-fatal submersions, and entrapments. No one better, knows better than you in this room that as the weather gets warmer, exposure to danger in the water increases and the number of incidents involving children rise. Safe Kids USA often calls the summertime the trauma season for children. Let's stop this summer from being another season of trauma in the pool. Sadly, the CPSC data shows that there are 385 pool and spa drownings each year involving children younger than five. Since the beginning of 2011, the Pool Safely Rapid Response Team has tracked 64 incidences nationwide, including 25 pool drownings involving children younger than five. We need to work together to reverse this trend, prevent the 9-11 drowning calls, save the lives of children, and make pool a source of fun, not a source of tragedy. We all know the risk. Inadequate supervision, improper fencing, insufficient barriers on all four sides, broken gates or doors leading to the pool, ladders left in above ground pools, poor maintenance of pools and spas, and non-compliant drain covers and other safety devices. The lack of water safety skills can be another deficiency. Too many children grow up without learning how to swim. The cycle continues as those children become parents of children who also don't know how to swim. We all know that swimming is a vital life skill. I can still remember when my mother took me to uh, learn how to swim. I can still feel my arms around her neck as she held me up and showed me how to use both my hands and my feet to keep myself above the water. And she never let me go until I safely could swim around uh, her and, and stay on top of the water. I grew up in a tiny little town in Georgia. We swam in creeks. The first one who got there had to throw in stones to make sure that the, swim, the snakes all swam around, uh, swam away. But we swam every single day of the summer. It was like getting up and eating a breakfast. After lunch, we all went to the creek. My husband graduated from Emory University. Before he could get a diploma to graduate, he had to pass a swimming test. I don't know if they still do that now, but he still talks about how they took him to the pool and put him in it. He knew how to swim. He grew up in Savannah, Georgia by the ocean. He was a great swimmer. But everyone had to learn how to swim, and that's the kind of emphasis we need to place on swimming skills in the United States today. You don't graduate if you can't swim. So improving behaviors, upgrading equipment, and learning new life skills is not such a big task when it comes to saving our children's lives. Because the answers are so simple and can have such a big impact, it is imperative that we are relentless in repeating sending out our message to every parent and caregiver. Our research shows that parents believe that they're already doing a very good job in supervising their children. They also believe that something as unthinkable as drowning or entrapment could never happen to them. Yet all too often, families suffer the heartbreak on pool-related instances and drowning. Families like the Bakers and the Cars and the Patricks and the Rigbys. Drownings happen. Drain entrapments happen. And they are devastating. And we all know that they are preventable. In the Pool Safely campaign second year, we must work harder to reduce the number of families who are impacted by these senseless and tragic events. The good news is that the Pool Safely campaign and our partners are working to bridge the gap between what the facts are and what the people believe. As we know from the data gathered um, by the CDC and the USA Swimming, the fear of water and the lack of swimming ability make African Americans and Hispanic children more vulnerable to drowning incidents in pools and open water. 
The great Olympian Cullen Jones has done an outstanding job of teaming up with USA Swimming to break down barriers to educate and motivate underserved uh, families to swim. And I'd like to recognize some of our other partners and acknowledge the plans they have put in action this spring. The Home Safety Council has a pool safety program for preschoolers at 4,000 Head Start programs around the country, which calls for parental involvement. And this is where we need to start as early as possible in teaching children to swim. The NDPA has a pilot program for residential backyard safety checks for pool and spa owners. Members of their team have attended trade shows all, through, uh, all over the country, reaching tens of thousands of individuals in emergency care, public health, health, pediatrics, and related fields with water safety message. And this is an excellent pilot project. Safe Kids USA is working with coalition members to send out pool inspection and rapid response materials directly into their communities. These materials are designed for low literacy readers and are also available in Spanish. There are many individuals who are making a positive difference in their communities. Jeff Dawson, who owns the Pool Safety Resource in Florida, visits child care centers to teach children about water safety and distribute materials for parents and owners. The Pool Safely Mom in um, the Pool Safety Mom in Arizona shares the Pool Safely PSAs with Water Safety Organization distributes materials to lifeguards and parents in community uh, safety events. Life Saving Resources in New Hampshire shares Pool Safely uh, digital materials with other water safety organizations and at safety conferences. And countless organizations and individuals are hosting and linking to information about the Pool Safely campaign on their websites. Also rec want to recognize the National Swimming Pool Foundation, the Northeast Spa and Pool Association, the APSP, which are all conducting training events on how to comply with Section 1404 of the Pool and Spa Safety Act. Let's give every one of those great partners a hand. Now these live and online courses and seminars are conducted nationwide to teach state and local officials, pool and spa service professionals, and lifeguards how to keep our pools and spas safe and compliant with the law. In addition, the CPSC has created a training video for state and local inspectors and industry representatives. This free video presents a step-by-step -step process for inspecting pools and spas and bringing them into compliance. These educational training programs are intended to keep the industry, uh, to help the industry achieve a high rate of compliance with this important child safety law. All of the organizations who, that are represented here in Colorado Springs are helping to increase the awareness of drowning prevention strategies for their customers, their clients, and our, their networks. And it's because of you that we are reaching thousands and thousands of people so that we can keep more people safe.